Good morning, State Line. As you saw, I got arrested. Someone here doesn't like my forecast. I'd like to introduce our guest forecaster for the day, Chief Evans. Thank you for joining us of the Roscoe Police Department. Thank you. Good to have you here. And I hope you bring a better forecast than what I brought. I morning. hope so too, but I, you know, I'm very upset with your, your walking forecast in the morning and in the afternoon because I can't go take my walks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It should say mainly dry. Well, I hope so. Let's give it a look at this forecast. Right. Our weather headlines, what we're tracking for you. We're looking at mainly dry conditions throughout the day today. And we're going to stay dry going into the day tomorrow. You're doing perfect. You're doing perfect. <laughs> I know getting used to the green screen is difficult, especially when you're handcuffed behind you. Of course. Right? And what's it look? When's the better chance of rain look like it's going to move into the forecast? Sunday. Sunday's a better chance of rain. Looks like it's going to be a wet one going into yes. Sunday. Definitely going to want the umbrellas handy and the mm -hmm. rain jackets if you're Absolutely. out and about. But then going into early next week, what are we looking at? Brief warm up. Ooh, that's looking nice. So at least I got something good in I'm there, gonna right? I'm going to like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you go by then. Okay, good. Okay, okay. good, good. <laughs> rain chance throughout the next few days. It's going to be minimal throughout the day today and tomorrow. But like you mentioned, best chance for rain is going to be on Sunday. So you're going to definitely want the umbrellas handy by the time you get to Sunday morning throughout okay. the area. Might even see a few breaks in the clouds tomorrow. That would be nice. But the cool weather mm -hmm. is going to continue here. All that blue. Where's all the blue at? All the cool air. You want to point to it there? Give the um, point and a try. I have no idea where I'm at on this. <laughs> this <laughs> Denver? Other side. Other side. Denver? There you go. Yep, right there. Where? All the cool air. Denver. There you go. A lot of cool Denver, air throughout yes. central and western portions of the country mm -hmm. and a lot more rain in the forecast. Looks like it's going to be a wet next few days throughout the state line area. Current conditions, though, we're overlooking downtown Rockford here. What does it look like for temperatures right now? Okay, temperatures. 44 degrees, <laughs> currently 44 degrees, right? winds uh, north at 7 miles per hour and the dew point's 37 degrees. Perfect, and very dry, the dew point's very low, so that's what's why it's so dry and a lot yep. of that rain's not making it to the atmosphere. Let's take a look at temperatures throughout the day today. I'm loving the, um, the time, the time frame. So around noon we're going to be almost at 50 degrees, we're going to be at 49, then we're going to rise to 51 at 2 p.m. and... Uh, around 651 degrees, so Perfect. we're going to be able to be outside a little bit. Still warm, yes, like. as we go throughout the late afternoon hours. Currently, though, like we mentioned, temperatures in the low 40s, so a little bit of a warmer start. You even mentioned that coming in this morning. It was a warmer start. It was warm this morning. Definitely, then compared to the last few days. Not as warm, though, as we were back on Monday. We were above average. Now, let's take a look at satellite and radar here. What are we looking at? Quite a bit of cloud cover? Looks like cloud cover mostly to the south of us, Rochelle. Yep, you got it. A little okay. bit of rain popping up on there, but like I mentioned, much of that's not making its way to the ground. There is some rain there off to our south throughout southern portions of the state. More rain though throughout southeastern portions of the country. So it's going to be a wet one over the next few days throughout much of eastern portions of the United States. Okay, we're going to map it out here with future cast. You ready? No. No. <laughs> no. Come on, you're doing the forecast. Okay. You're bringing great weather. You're supposed to be bringing right. better weather, not me. So really down south, it looks like we're going to get rained on. Right. Looks like there's something Some yellow. clouds here for us. Yep. Yes. Yep. You got it. And Man, more clouds as we go throughout the day. Yes, it's very cloudy. It is very cloudy. All around Wisconsin, Illinois, to the east and to the west. You name it. And then yeah. you might see a few breaks there in the clouds throughout the afternoon hours tomorrow. So we might see okay. a peak or two of sunshine. Mm -hmm. Not going to be a complete washout today or tomorrow. But then as we advance it through, you can see that rain there moving in for Sunday. I see it. It's going to be a wet one Sunday, yes, more scattered is. showers. So you're definitely going to want to be prepared for that. Okay, ready? It's all you. You're going to recap the forecast today. Okay, today's temperature is going to be 52 degrees, cloudy, si cloudy skies, <laughs> isolated showers, winds northeast 5, 10 miles an hour. Perfect. And for tonight? Tonight will be 39 degrees, mostly cloudy. Light shower chance, <laughs> winds northeast 5 to 10. <laughs> and going into the day tomorrow, starting off the weekend. Um, 54 degrees, partly mostly cloudy, isolated shower, winds north 5 to 10. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take a look at our Halloween forecast and early Yay. look at it. Looking like it's going to be good. Let's try to dance with the mummy and the vampire there. Yeah, we got the dance moves going on this morning for we a do. Friday morning. Absolutely. Looks like partly to mainly cloudy skies for Halloween. Temperature should be in the lower 40s, so decent weather to go out trick-or-treating. Is it going to rain? On us? Doesn't look like it. Looks like better chance going into today on Tuesday. Looks like we should stay dry for Halloween. You dressing up for this year? I always do. What are you going to be? Uh, well, this year, oh, I don't want to say. I've got a lot of outfits. I got a lot of different things, but um, a bird. It's That's a bird. A good one. That's a good one. It's I like a bird. that. I like that. I'm going to be a famous game show contestant. I wonder who. I wonder too. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Might want to Google that one. <laughs> Let's take a look at this seven day forecast. We'll walk off here and go join Jay and Kathleen as I'm still handcuffed. Mom, help! <laughs>
Wait, I get my one call. Who am I going to call? Well, I'm going to call Jay. <laughs> yeah, the Ghostbusters. Chief, Ev Chief Evans, uh, what's the bail? Um, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand, so ten percent, so that'd be good. about ten grand, yeah. right? You got that, Jay. Oh, pull man, out your wallet. You We're can gonna help have me out to here. get a whole pool together. But, but, you, but you know, see, I didn't plan on getting That's handcuffed. Hurt. I didn't plan on getting handcuffed. Dave, can you go back to the graphics for just a second for me? <laughs> take a look at this. I made. I went to all this work to take your picture this morning in front <laughs> what of. What the heck? You got a mug shot. I I thought that was expunged. You know. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't issue hundred percent forecast all the time. I never told hundred percent chance Jay will say something silly. I never told the bosses I was arrested before. I'm 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 done after this. So see the handcuffs should be on him, not me. <laughs> as long as they're not on me, we're all good. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Chief Evans. Yeah. You did a great job. Yeah, and good job uh, if you want, ever want to fill in, just feel free. I will. So. I'll take over for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, six eighteen coming up next on Eyewitness News. And